Hello, what's up guys? Today we are here to see what is the best setting for your NVIDIA graphic card. And I give you some tips to how you can get the best performance from your graphic card. The first thing I have to mention is update your GPU driver. If you don't know how to do it, open your web browser and go NVIDIA, NVIDIA, NVIDIA drivers. Okay. So it's redirect you to the NVIDIA. It show you the NVIDIA website, not that one. Go to official GeForce drivers. And we have this option, automatic driver updates. It's gonna automatically recognize what is your GPU or graphic card and update your graphic card just with two click. So, okay, we are not gonna use this tool. And the second option is manual driver search. So what is your product type? You're gonna say, like, for example, I got NVIDIA GeForce and product series. And you can, you have to select the product series, which, which series you got, like 40 series or 30 series. Did you got notebook, I mean laptop or PC? So in my option, I got PC and I'm gonna select 30, 60 series and the product, which product you got from 30 series family, the, I've got 30, 60 Ti in my computer and operating system. It has driver for Linux, by the way. Arc Linux, nice. So I have Windows 11 right now. And the language, first English. Start to search. It's gonna find the latest driver for your GPU. Okay, what is NVIDIA Stadio driver? That's for recording or streamers or some stuff. If you're a streamer or you want to start streaming, you can use this tool. That's very useful. So I'm not a streamer. Let's check the driver. I'm gonna open the NVIDIA GeForce experience. I wanna make sure that this is the latest driver I've got. Watch you. There we go, finally. So we are into the GeForce experience app and driver. I didn't open this, so let's check that. After you install that, the latest driver, it gives you this app and you can check the driver like from here to refresh like i can reinstall the driver if you got issue with your uh video card driver or you think it just had malfunctioning like your graphic card malfunctioning or restarting your computer or some doing some crazy stuff you can reinstall it okay here's the latest version this site the nvidia site found for me is the 546.01 here we go we got this one here so we are down with installing the nvidia geforce experience app that's a very useful app for example in fortnite i can launch the fortnite or gta we let's see the details and the thing is i can optimize i already optimized the reddit for more fps Let's see this one. I already optimized this one. It's gonna optimize your gameplay to get the best performance in the game. But I do not recommend you. You can find your favorite settings in the game. You can you can use that if it's useful. To, yeah, you can use it. If you if it's not, that wasn't useful for me because that was very weird. Like getting blurry screen, enabling some weird settings. I don't like that. So let's go for the NVIDIA control panel. We already updated the driver. We have two options to enter NVIDIA control panel from here, from try icons or show more option and NVIDIA control panel. There's nothing different. So we are gonna start with downside. Adjust video image settings. If you need the age enhancement in your video, like during your watching video on YouTube, on your web browser, or in your local media player like Windows Media Player or Windows Movie and TV app or some stuff. It's gonna give you enhance the age of stuff. In your video you can turn it on and 
add enhancement you can use that okay i need that okay that's optional you can get more enhancement on edges nose reduction i'm gonna enable nose reduction and just a slightly just a little bit i'm gonna add it three percent that must be enough and we got this option rtx video enhancement that's very nice if you don't know what is that don't worry i'm going to show you what is that if your videos will be like this with the super resolution to enable a super resolution your video or picture will be like this you can see what is the difference it's going to add more quality to the picture videos and everything i think one or two is the best option but it's up to you video color settings by default it's on with video player setting i've got something here for you with nvidia setting we can set uh change the color by uh change the default color but we are not gonna let it to stay on default color you can add contrast or hue or saturation or brightness you can add advanced settings by default it's on limited color just dynamic ranges just select full and select press apply button so set up multiply display i don't have one set up g-sync i have monitor which is g-sync compatible my monitor is amd FreeSync, but you can use the g-sync on amd FreeSync devices that's going to work perfect just press enable g-sync compatible and enable for full screen mode and enable setting for the selected display as you can see this acer this uh, particular monitor has free sync but i'm using g-sync and i have no problem with that that works perfect and uh, that's for screen tiering adjust desktop and size so we have nothing here size we are not going to change anything here just uh, select the highest refresh rate you can get from your display change the resolution and we got something crazy here so you can change your screen resolution we got i'm on native resolution 1080p and the refresh rate as you can see in the highest refresh rate i can get from this display and apply following a setting and i've got 32 bits highest color and the output color dips that was uh in my display my display support 10 b pc and if you need more more information you can read the description on each level the output dynamic range it's on full select on full and the output color dips select the highest like 10 i don't know 16 12 or whatever is your monitor support and of course rgb so and configure configure surround surround physics physics i don't know what is that i don't know what is that but physics settings i got no clue how to pronounce this word sorry nvidia geforce rtx 3060 ti you can select uh your cp but we are not gonna do that let the gp process that uh, of course gpu is faster and my cp and manage 3d settings i'm gonna talk about it in a minute adjust image settings with preview just use the advanced 3d image settings just select this one and press apply button image scaling image scaling in my opinion you have to enable image scaling if you enable that you can get the best quality of the i don't know like trees in your gameplay it give you sharpness and very good quality so i've seen some of people in youtube they're saying yeah they're saying like do not turn it on press on off i'm gonna use that i enjoyed on my gameplay i love this image scaling option it gives you more quality emit occasion you can select performance an isotropic filter on application control anti-aliasing fxaa turn it off anti-aliasing gamma uh, correction turn it on anti-aliasing mode on application control anti-aliasing settings on application control which is it's all for me anti-aliasing transparency 
turn it off background application maximum frame rate so we don't need it right now we don't need it so let it stay off so if you need any information i cannot explain one by one because i don't want to make long video it's already long i think so you can read the description it's gonna give you so many information about what is each settings CUDA GPUs, let it stay all CUDA system fallback policy, driver default, DSR factors, or low latency mode. Of course, enable that. If you don't know what is that, low latency mode, NVIDIA low latency mode, go and uh, search it on internet. You can find so many videos for that, so many YouTubers just made a video of that. Let it to stay on, never turn it off. I don't recommend you to let it to stay on ultra. You can use that if you play the counter or you need fast reaction or some stuff when you gameplay. Maximum frame rate. That's just gonna limit your FPS to your monitor. Like I got 165 Hz display. I can limit the display like on 165. My monitor technology, of course, is just incompatible. It's AMD freezing. But I just fix it every now. It's just incompatible now. My monitor support this one. Multi frame sampled AA MFAA. That's the contract for one, this one. OpenGL GDI compatibility on auto. OpenGL rendering GPU on your graphic card. Mine is 3060 Ti. Power management. And this one. If you enable this one, in my graphic card, I just uh, select the prefer maximum performance. It gives you the maximum performance of your card if you just press prefer maximum. But in my graphic card, that was something weird happened to me. The GPU pan was on all the time. Like when even I was on desktop. Yeah, I did nothing with my computer that was on desktop, but the GPU pan was on all the time. I don't know why, but I like to so like the preferred maximum performance but it just gonna turn my gpu fan on all the time and i don't want it so you can tell me in the comments if it's gonna turn your gpu fan on all the time you're in the same situation like me you can let me know in the comments and prefer refresh rate the highest available I never select application control the highest available and the shader cache slide driver defaults texture filtering an isotropic simple optimization and texture filtering negative oh uh, turn it on optimization this uh, an isotropic sample optimization turn it on this uh, texture filtering negative let it just say on allow and the texture filter quality select on high performance high performance it gives you more fps let you to get more fps texture filtering three linear optimization let it to stay on on threaded optimization let it to stay on auto tribal buffering turn it off vertical sync use application a setting virtual reality pre-rendered frames let it to stay on one if you are use uh, vr glasses or some stuff like this, you can select number four, but I don't have one. Visual reality variable, rate super sampling of Vulcan OpenGL uh, person method, auto. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press apply. Thanks for watching. See you next time.